Hey guys, welcome to your channel. Today we bring you the most epic battle one can ever witness in lifetime. Our first character is the last son of Krypton, the Superman. And his contender is no other than the God of Thunder Thor. Before we jump into the battle, I suggest you to write in the comments section below, who do you think will win this battle? Is it Thor? Or the Superman? Now let's start with Superman. His real name is Kal-El, and that was the name given to him on Krypton by his parents. His parents died when Krypton was destroyed, but he was sent to Earth by his father. Upon reaching Earth, the Kent family found him, who gave him the name Clark Kent. And so, Superman has an alter ego of Clark Kent, which serves as his normal regular everyday name and identity. He has a range of superpowers and is the protector of planet Earth. Superman has remained one of the most iconic characters in DC Comics and movies. His first appearance in his own comic came in 1938 in Superman Issue 1. Superman excels at breaking things, as seen when he broke an entire mountain into pieces just by punching it once. Superman can also level buildings with his bare hands and fly into space without getting tired or needing oxygen as normal humans do. So, on the surface, we tend to think that they are of equal level, but Superman has even moved entire planets in the comics. Superman does win the strength battle when compared to Thor in his normal form. Superman powers consist of super strength, super speed, invulnerability, and flight. Superman is one of the most powerful individuals in the DC Universe and has been shown to have enough power to destroy worlds without an effort. He can also shoot intense lasers out of his eyes and freeze things with his breath. This mix of powers means that Superman is incredibly dangerous to Thor. But again we should not forget about his weakness. Superman has two significant weaknesses. The obvious one is magic and the other kryptonite. However, Thor does not have access to either magic that can affect Superman or kryptonite. Now, let's talk about the God of Thunder Thor. He was born on Asgard but now protects Midgard, which is Earth. Thor's character hails from Norse mythology, but with regards to this debate, we are referring to the Thor character created by Marvel Comics. For this character, Thor resides on Earth but travels to Asgard regularly, where his father Odin lives along with his mother, Frigga. Thor has a range of powers and is called the God of Thunder. He tends to wear a suit of armor with a red cape and sometimes is also shown wearing a helmet. Thor's strength is considered to be among the strongest in all of Marvel Universe superheroes. Thor has enough power to knock down Captain America with a single blow and is strong enough to destroy entire spaceships. Physically he is considered of similar strength levels to the Hulk and certainly a better fighter. This was highlighted in Thor, Ragnarok movie, where Thor defeated the Hulk in the contest of champions. Thor's powers ranges depending on which version of Thor we are talking about. However, his lightning power is reasonably consistent, and Thor can summon and use lightning at will. Thor's lightning powers could prove to be especially effective against Superman because Thor can control it and use it as an attack. He can also harness the power and direct it using his hammer or his axe, Storm Beaker. Thor can also fly using his weapons which he throws into the air, and they carry him off. Now let's talk about Thor's weaknesses. As great as Thor's powers are, we know that he can be defeated and generally if you take his weapons away, he is a lot weaker. Given that removing his hammer or axe will result in the lack of flight, this essentially makes life a lot easier for Superman. The major advantage that Thor has on Superman is that he is a trained warrior and has access to weapons along with his other powers. These will help Thor to win over Superman. The advantage that Superman has over Thor is his super speed, his ability to fly and, of course, the energy beams from his eyes. And the slight nod in strength. From a combat perspective, these do give him an advantage. The eye blasts especially make fighting Superman a nightmare for Thor. The variations of Superman differ in terms of background and story. So, while there are a few versions of him from a story perspective, his powers should remain the same. When it comes to Thor, over the years, there have been various versions of Thor created, but we will consider only two versions of Thor to simplify things. The first is Thor the God of Thunder and second is Ruin King Thor. 
Thor, the god of thunder, is generally considered as the main version of Thor. This Thor is the most well-regarded and lives on Earth under the alias of Donald Blake. Rune King Thor is one of the strongest versions of Thor. He had to undergo a series of challenges to gain the power of the runes. Once he had this power, he was able to tap into the unlimited energy of the Odin Force and was virtually unstoppable. Now coming to the conclusion, who would win the battle between Thor and Superman? Well, based on the details we have discussed in this video, Thor seems to have the upper hand. While Thor God of Thunder would be a more even battle, the Rune King Thor would be far too much for Superman to handle. His fighting ability, strength, powers and weapons are so outmatched that Clark Kent would ultimately be outgunned and is going to lose the fight. We would love to know your opinion on this battle so let us know in the comments section below. Based on your request we can come up with a second part if needed. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We will meet again. Soon.